It's grabbing attention as far as the eye can see. Comet Neowise, and time is running out to view it. So many local people are getting great pictures of this rare occurrence. The comet was first discovered on March 27th using NASA's Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, acronym Neowise. Once Comet Neowise disappears from view on Thursday, it will not be seen again for 6,800 years. A local couple took advantage of its rare presence using Neowise as the backdrop for a milestone moment that has the internet buzzing. I went out looking for a comet that night and came home with a fiance, so it blew her mind away. She had no clue. <laughs> He's really big into space, so him wanting to see the comet wasn't out of the ordinary. Wearing his NASA t-shirt, John Nicotera talked about the moment that led to a public proposal to bride-to-be Erica Pendrack under Comet Neowise. Saturday came and I forgot the binoculars to see the comet. <laughs> Friend Tim to the rescue. I texted Tim and said like, hey, do you have binoculars? And he came back, no. Uh, and then he's like, Couple minutes later, he's, hey, what if I come with you and meet you guys with his girlfriend and uh, I'll just take photos that night as well and uh, you could see them through my camera. The rare comet clearly visible in the space between the two local teachers during their special moment. We went uh, up on Macaulay Mountain almost, an old landfill. It was beautiful, I mean, besides standing on top of garbage. He just got down on one knee and I was just completely shocked, was just tears and everything. <laughs> Over the moon excited, John took to social media. Yeah. And then seeing like something as silly as him tweeting, trying to reach out to astronauts, NASA, things like that, trying to get anyone's attention to see, you know, the complete joke. The yeah. Just yeah. No, had no expectations to hear from them. So. And then once one retweeted, it kind of just. Yeah. Got popular and others got wind of it. Prior to this, I've had like one like, you know. I never tweet. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why I have a Twitter. And it just kind of kept going and going and going. NASA, the International Space Station, Elon Musk. What did I do? <laughs> I broke the internet yeah. today, you know. <laughs> I kind of, I feel like I was still trying to soak in the fact that we were engaged. One or two meteorologists got wind of it, and then the Weather Channel, and then it went from there, and then Good Morning America. And if you can believe it, this engagement story wasn't supposed to play out this way, but the universe had other plans. We actually had a we had a trip scheduled in July, and I was planning on to propose at like a desk. We were going to Portland, Oregon. I was planning to do it there. Well, that got canceled because of COVID, so I couldn't think of a like plan B, you know, and um, so every plan I thought of, it was kind of boring. But plan B ended up being out of this world. Yeah. The clouds kind of got out of the way and it worked. It, yeah. it was like a dream come true. Congratulations.